Hi everybody, Jen here. Um, so I've had a bunch of friends reach out to me and say, I need something else to do math-wise with my children, uh, especially kindergarten, first grade, and um, maybe we've gotten a whole bunch of worksheets or there's been a lot of screen time. And uh, that's kind of the nature of homeschool right now, right? We're kind of all trying to figure this out on our own. So this took me back to a time when I was little and my grandmother gave me a deck of cards and showed me this cool trick. And I did not at the time understand that I was actually practicing my fluency in 10 partners. And uh, 10 partners are huge because our entire number system is based on 10. So while it's not all about um, drill and kill and memorization, it is important to become fluent with, with our partners that, that equal up to 10. It helps us just add and subtract a lot more easily as we go through the years. Uh, we, as adults, pretty much do it in our heads, but our kids kind of have to be guided. Anyway, I'm getting off track. I have a really cool math um, card trick that we can just kind of trick our kids into practicing these, these skills because they think they're doing a really cool card trick, but the goal is to do the trick as quickly as possible. And so what I'm gonna do first round is I'm just gonna do the trick. Uh, by the way, I still do this trick at parties, so you know, it doesn't, you don't have to grow it. Um, I'm gonna do the trick first, and then the second time through, I'm gonna show you how it worked, okay? So here we go, I have a partner off camera, too shy to get on camera. But what I'm gonna do is ask her to take three cards. And what she's gonna do is pull the cards out of my pile, hand them to me top side up, and I'll show them to the camera. And then in the end, I'll be able to tell her which three cards she's pulled. Almost dropped all of them. Okay, card number one. Card number two. Card number three, okay? So now it doesn't matter where in the pile she took them from, it doesn't matter if I shuffle these cards again after she's taken them. But what I'm gonna do is do my best to go very quickly and in about a minute's time, hopefully, show her that I know what three cards she has. Here I go. And no, I'm not counting cards. I wish I was good at that, I'd be a lot richer. Okay, so what I'm gonna tell you is that you have an ace, a three, and a five. Let's take a look. You have an ace, a three, and a five. At this point, your child's gonna be totally wowed. Holy moly. Um, I'm gonna quickly show you how that worked so that you can teach this to your children, and then they just practice their 10 partners. So, couple rules first. King, queen, jack. King plus queen plus jack equals 10. Nine plus ace equals 10, okay? So other than that, 10 equals 10, eight plus two equals 10, seven plus three equals 10, six plus four, five, five plus five. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through this exactly as I just did, but I'm gonna talk you through what I did. So once you teach this to your kids, they're just gonna practice doing it as quickly as they possibly can. I have a queen, a jack, a three, another jack, queen, ace, a nine. Oh look, my nine and my ace equal 10. So I'm gonna cover those up. And now I have some tens. I've gotta cover those right away. Okay, so now I don't have any more 10 partners. I'm gonna keep going. Oh, I have a six and a four. So I cover my six, I cover my four. My seven and my three, because they add up to 10. I have a six and a four. 
I have a king, a queen, and a jack, so I'm gonna cover those up quickly. And now I, oh, I have an eight and a two, so I can cover those. I have a seven and a three, a five and a five, I can cover my 10. I have a six and a four, an ace and a nine. Oh, king, queen, jack, I can cover those right up. I have an eight and a two, I have a six and a four. Look at that, a 10. I've got to cover that puppy up right away. I have an eight and a two. A seven and a three. An eight and a two. A king, queen, jack. So here's the trick. King, queen, jack, that equals 10. So I'm going to pick those up and remove them. I also have an ace and a nine. I'm gonna pick those up and remove that pile. Here's what I have left. I have a seven, a five, and a nine. How did I figure out what's missing? It's kind of like a what's missing game. If I have a nine, I would need an ace in order to equal 10. So I know there's an ace. If I have a five, what do I need to make 10? I need the other five. And I have a seven, what do I need to make 10? I have a three. So I knew what cards were out of the pile based on the piles that I had left. There are some tricks to this. If you have a king and a queen left, there's likely a jack in the other person's pile. Um, if you only have two piles left, there's likely a 10 in the other person's pile. So share this with your kids and let them practice their fluency naturally uh, because that's really how they come about the best understanding with numbers. Thanks so much. Have a great day.